this recording will probably change over time because I'm still getting new to DaVinci Resolve, but this is my setup that I have so far. On the first row, we have your different uh, scenes. In DaVinci Resolve, you can go from cut, edit, fusion, color, fairlight. So what I have done, I have set up cut, edit, fusion, color, and fair light. I figure when you first open up DaVinci Resolve and you want to do a recording, first tab you're gonna to go to, you're just gonna click on media and import your media. So I really didn't set up a button for that because it's just my train of thought. And for delivery, you're going to be typing the name of the video and stuff like that and work with the keyboard. So I figure you're going to just going to click on that. So, so here under the custom settings, I set up a tab to do the dual screen on. So tab here is to enable dual screen. I only have two small screens. So for editing video, I like stretching across both, both screens. And then I have your home and end to jump from the beginning of your video to the end. Then next to that, I have uh, the comma and period to jump one frame forward or backwards. Undo, I'm always using undo. Then I have save. Then I have your in and out, cut. And then down here at the bottom, going through the different editing and click on this and it goes to the select tool. Now to go to trim edit mode, click on that. Dynamic, I can turn that on. Blade tool, and back. And then I have the wheel set up for your zoom in and zoom out. Delete, and then your space bar for playing and pausing the video. And for this, that's all default, but if you hit down on it, it'll scrub forward, or it'll scrub back, or you can jump from cut to cut that you have in there or clip back and forth blade tool what i like to do is i just like to drag press the button drag press the button staying in select mode all the time doing that and then hitting delete here on the side so far that's how i like to edit dead air out of here it's already cut there so do that and delete and the way i have this set up it's just delete so it does the ripple delete and just slides things back. But that's what I have so far for this. Uh, I'm still learning DaVinci Resolve, as I said. But right now, this for somebody new to DaVinci Resolve, I would say this is great. I know there's so many more things that you can do. But for a basic beginning, I think this is pretty darn awesome.